day two of my anime shopping. This is Nakano Broadway. It looks like this, this shopping street along here. Oh my God, the lights are all flashing on my um, video, but they're not in real life. What the hell? <laughs> um, at the end of here is kind of like a flea market of like anime shops. They also sell like watches and uh, fancy clothes. I don't know if they kind of like sus like fake brands and stuff, but I'm there for the anime stuff. So let's go. Here we go. I can see the sign. Nakano Broadway. All of the shops are inside there. I'm inside a little key ring and like old gachapon shop and I found some like sleeping figures of haiku characters. Blue Exorcist, the stuff that I was buying in Ikebukuro yesterday. Figurines that are like $25. So I guess they're quite rare though. That one's $25. Uh, Rorani Kenshin. I bought some Rorani Kenshin key rings and stuff yesterday. They're really cool sitting characters, maybe from an old Gachapon toy. Sagana Sonosuke is only 600 yen, six dollars. But Himeno is 20. Bo bo bo, I know these. They're like all old like Gachapon things. Oh, and this was probably like a collaboration with Tokyo Railway. Hmm. And then one piece over here. That's some um, Persona music playing. Oh, what's that? That's cool. Bob and Inosuke. Of Jujutsu Kaisen figurines and key rings. Oh, Chainsaw Man. They seem a little expensive, but I'm not sure. The Jojo ones I think are okay. Like $25 to $15. Some of them are quite cheap. Maybe the less popular character. $600 yen. I don't see any um, Kishibe Rohan, who's my favorite. Uh, what else have they got? Oh, um, Hunter Hunters over here. Uh, Coasters. Oh, I'd like to get that one of a disguised Kurapika. Hmm, I'll have to have a good look. Oh my god, the long hair gone. I bought some of these very, very cheap in um, Osaka. Hmm, there's some Nanami and Kilua there. There's some banana fish key rings. I was able to get them for only 300 yen when I did the actual Gachapon. That's cool, but you get ash straight up for $10 if you are oh, a Halloween AG. I think I might have gotten this one for Luca. Ten dollars, yikes! I did a good job. Lots of um, Attack on Titan, Gintama. Oh my God, Retro Slam Dunk! Look at those little figurines. They're quite expensive. Wow, they got some really cool stuff, really retro stuff in the shop. Oh my God! And um, Trigun Stampede. That card is only two hundred yen of Merrill. Wow, I think I was able to get that one. Legato when I went to the cafe. Uh, none of Vash or. Wolfwood, unfortunately. Oh my god, these are plushes of um, Hetelia. That's England there. UK. Who's that? America. <laughs> Cute. Oh, uh, Fate Stay Night or Fate Zero, I'm not sure. Grand Order, I don't know any of the Fate games anymore. Oh my god, there's like tons of, tons of Persona stuff. What the hell? This whole cabinet is all Persona, but it's all like rare Persona. I think the price is really expensive. That's $150, that figurine. Well, it's pretty cool, though. That lady on her, what's her name? Oh, I can't remember her name on a, on a motorbike. The little figurines of Chia and Yuki. Oh, I've got these figurines of um, Reset and the main character. Wow, there's Reset. Is an Aki at the back? This is so cool to see them all here. <laughs> the curry collaboration Goro, $52. I got the main character one. How much is my one worth? Lots of limited badges and stuff. I wonder which ones I've got. I'd like to get this badge, $40. Dang it, I'm not getting that badge for $40. There's a Lisa figurine. That's got, I saw this figurine yesterday for like $13. The exact same one. Um, Persona 3 at the bottom here, oh my God. The Bromide of the main boy, $18. I would be tempted to buy that one. That was from the cafe collaboration that I went to and I was unable to get that. They've got the acrylic stand at home. Oh my God. There's me as well. Wow, I wish I bought that when I went to the cafe because it was only like $13, but I wasn't into collecting acrylic stands back then. They've got one of him from the movie there. That's the new one that's been released um, because of the game coming out. It's $30. Uh, normally it's like $20, 2,000 yen. Raku Spa collaboration. I've got that one over there. I paid $2,000. It's 8,500. 8, wow. Some coasters, I got that one. The one for 3,000, I paid for 2,000. I really, really wanted it. That one I paid 1,000, it's 2,000 there. 
I've got this badge. Wow, this this, this merch is crazy expensive, I guess, because the new reload games come out, coming out. Yep. I'm Raku Spa. Mm, very cool to see all this stuff. Oh, there's a figma of the main boy. 1,000, no. 18,000, yikes. 18,000 yen, if I really wanted to get the figma. I've got a figurine of um the main boy from Persona, but it's um figure out zero, so you can't customize the pose and stuff. Wow, this stuff is way too expensive. Is there any cheaper stuff? Oh yes, there is, here, right next to it. Lots of badges and things of all the main characters. This is all Persona 5. Four is over here, and they've also got some stuff of three. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna have to take a closer, closer look. Wow, oh my God. Nanami, oh no, Nanako. Nanako, just like my Nanako. Oh man, I gotta look at the coasters. Oh, that's from the Tokyo Tower collaboration that, where I where I got um the main characters one. I've got the full set of all of these. Oh my god, I guess ten dollars. I'm tempted for that. I'm really tempted for that. All right, I gotta. I'm gonna have it. Stop the camera. I'm gonna have a closer look. Lots of amazing figurines spotted, all uh, Nendoroids. I've got that one of Gyu. How much is it? 3,500, wow. Price has come a lot down from when I bought it brand new. I think maybe I paid 7,000, double. <laughs> Yikes. Lots of cool Naruto things, wow. That's $55, that Naruto back there. Oh, Nendoroid Young Kabuto is $100, $104. Wow, there's like some Monster Hunter things up here. <gasps> Persona, it's death. Tana. Tos, I can't remember, Thanos, I, I, what? I can't remember his name. Uh, Figma of Link, Yukari from Persona 4, Nintroid of, of King DDD. Wow, there's some really, really cool figurines. I'm not that much into collecting figurines nowadays because they're so big and chonky. But this huge Advent Children Cloud, that's Cloud, Kudaudo, $190, not bad. And there's one of Tifa there, which is only like less than 7,000. But it's the Advent Children version. Mm, cool, and lots of random Disney things over here. Oh, Twisted Wonderland. Uh, Leona. These guys are Twisted Wonderland as well. Oh my god, look at this absolute wall of JoJo. It's all JoJo figurines. And they're all varying prices and quality. Wow. I like the design. I like how all of the boxes are uniform like that. It's pretty cool. What? This guy's in a wheelchair? Wow, oh, there's um, Kishibe Rohan. I like him. Wow, cool Nendoroids. Tokyo Avengers, Death Note. Very, very cool. Lots of um, Naruto. Ooh, maybe Anniversary Naruto and Sasuke there. Oh, really cheap. Oh, lots of key rings of Tokyo Avengers and sleeping sets. More Naruto figurines. Wow, so cool. Dr. Stone and Mashal. Oh, Roar and Kenshin at the bottom. Wow, I like these figurines a lot. They look like they're a bit cheaper than the other place. Oh, um, Sakura Sonosuke is only 400 yen here. Maybe I should get the um, Kenshin and Sonosuke ones for like less than $20. What else have they got? Oh, what's it called? Heaven's Blade or something? Oh, there's some um, fairy tale up top. About $60, $80. Ooh, an android, a fairy tale. And Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Random Yu-Gi-Oh there. Lots more Jojo figurines and acrylic stands. Hmm, the presentation in this shop is beautiful. I really, really like it. Full Metal Alchemist is behind me. Lots of um, Hunter Hunter figurines here. Oh my god. Gone becoming adult. Becoming adult gone as well. That's $60. Hmm. Oh my god, there's a Berserk Nendoroid? I didn't know that. Whoa! $75. Mugen from Cowboy Bebop? What the hell? That's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. That's so, such a specific anime. I really like that anime. Wow. I didn't even know that existed. That's crazy. $70 though. Mm. Some derpy looking ones of Final Fantasy. A Joker Nendoroid. Oh my god some cool 
Final Fantasy looking ones here as well. I think that's uh, zero, five, and six, maybe? These figurines are cool. That one of Titus looks really cool. $21 there. At the back is like some old Final Fantasy VIII ones. Laguna Lori, 400 yen. Very, very old school. Oh, is that Balthier from 12? I think it might be. <gasps> Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. That is cool. And Snake as well. Those are so cute. I might have to get those. They're, $2, they're $10 each though. All these ones have Jack Frost. I've got one of them. I got the sitting one. It was $3 when I did a Dachapon. Only 300 yen. There's some ones over here that are a bit cheaper. 700 yen. Cool. Really, really cool capsule stuff in this shop. I'm going to have to go around and ask them what I can have. Oh, some funky looking Zelda ones there. Might be from the Dynasty Warriors one. And some retro um, Mega Man as well. Or Capcom games. Sonic and Android. Sonic is cheaper than Tails. $58 versus $69. Wow. Funky oh, nuts. Lots more Nendoroid figurines. Uh, which ones do I like? Oh, there's some um, Zatch Bell there from Konjiki no Gash Bell. Uh, I know Ensemble Stars, Subaru. Uh, who else is there that I know that I like? Uh, Chico is very famous in Japan at the moment. I don't like it. Uh, Benti. Benti from Genshin. Mm. Luna Lovegood. Interesting. Harry Potter. Wow, it's so expensive. $130 or less. Oh, this is Spider Man one. Avengers Endgame Spider Man. Lots of very, very cool um, figurines from Ghibli movies here, but very, very expensive. $440. It says this is from Howl's Moving Castle. Does it look like that? I can't remember, but it flies like that. Moi de no Marni, when Marni was there. That's from uh, Princess Mononoke. It's the main, the main character, but not the princess. Uh, Porco Rosso, the little grotto that he lives in. Who's that? Can't remember what that is. Homuji san. I can't remember that, what that one's from. Um, there's Porco Rosso again. He's, he's from that. How much is that? $120. Oh my god. Wow. Very, very cool to see. Like Ghibli. Ghibli figures and stuff. And Totoro. My neighbor Totoro. It's $600. Wow. Gunship from uh, Valley, Valley of the Wind. I don't know what it's called. And then some like fancy wrestler masks as well. God, that is so expensive. That's fun. Wait a minute, how much is that? Is it actually his hat or something? This, this wrestler? Uh, I'm trying to do math. $50, $850, I think. Oh my God, these are very expensive. Wrestler masks. Found lots of old magazines. I think this one features a Ghibli movie. I can't remember which one that is. I don't know which one. That, is. that might be the one where it's like the girl growing up. I uh, can't remember what it's called. Very Whispers of the Wind. I really like that one. I found a PlayStation magazine of Persona 1 as well. That's Persona 1 on the cover. That's pretty funky. $5. I'd be kind of curious to check that out. It's from the 90s. Wow. 1996? My goodness. Alright, I've seen some really, really cool things. There's more Ghibli here. Very expensive. Wow, cool! Princess Mononoke at the back. $888. Little pochi though. Um, but I, I gotta go soon. Oh, I like that. That's stylistic Doraemon. Wow. $140. Rare Doraemon. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta go. I can't... I'm getting sucked in. I could stay here for much longer if I wanted to. Whew. The real reason why I'm leaving a little bit early is because I want to go back to Ikebukuro that I was at yesterday and I want to buy some of the Persona Tokyo Tower postcards that I saw, which I thought I was going to get because I was going to be buying merch and then getting them. I got that one with um, Akihiko, Iori and Shinjiro on it, but I want to get the one that has like the main character and Aigus on it. So I'm going back to Ikebukuro. My Shinkansen, my bullet train, is in a little less than two hours. So I've got heaps of time to go back there, buy those, and then go to the station and, and wait for my train and maybe get a little snack as well. I skipped lunch. I am back in Ikebukuro now. Oh, this is a commercial for Blue Archive, third anniversary. I've never actually played it. 
Um, I was gonna go to a Blue Archive cafe on February 2nd, but that's the day that uh, Persona 3 releases, so I'm, I'm not gonna go anymore. Not many Kiwi members play this game. I don't play this game. I just like the look of the characters and the gameplay mechanics. Anyway, I'm gonna go and buy my Persona Limited merch. I got an hour and a half until my Shinkansen. I gotta go back to Tokyo Station. Take two. I'm back in Ikebukuro. I'm at the K-Books shops that I was at yesterday. I'm gonna go into the game one and I wanna buy the Tokyo Tower Persona merch yesterday that I snoozed on because I was like, I'm gonna get it tonight and then I couldn't get it. So they got a couple of limited postcards there. Let's go check it out. I think this postcard's really cool. I think it's Joker, the Joker Persona. I can't remember what it's called, Ars Arsene or something. $11 though, Ooh, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of Persona 5. I want to get the Tokyo Tower ones, the limited ones. Oh, I wonder where they are. They're probably here. No? Where are they? Have they been sold since yesterday? Oh, they're all here, I think. There we go. There we go. It's these ones. Do they have the that one? I want that one. And that one. That, that's $11 too, dang it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it though. I came all this way back to Ikebukuro. They've got a reasonably priced badge of I guess that I'm thinking about getting. There's one of Fuga as well. The one of the hero is very expensive. Nearly 3,000 yen, $30, $27. Um, I'm so glad I was able to get the coaster of that yesterday when I went to the cafe. And now I've got the, um, I've got the, the coaster of Igus as well. Which I was able to buy in the oh. Cool. I was able to get, um, all of the other postcards, not the one with, um, Akihiko and Iori and Shinjiro on it. And I also found this for two dollars. Margaret from Persona 4. Um, maybe Big Fudge likes her. He's played Big He's played Big Fudge. He's played Persona 4, I think. Cool. Oh my god, they did not have this yesterday. It's the full set of characters from Persona 4, I think. Oh my god. Kanji is 400 yen. Wow. Comes a little card of them as well. Uh, Yosuke is 1,600, 1,300. Main boy is 2,000, but I saw him cheaper over there. 1,600, I think. How much are the other characters? 800 for you, Kari. She is 800 as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, what do you say? It's 800 too. Oh, I'm so tempted. Very, very tempted. I'm not a big fan of the quality of the figurines. Uh, it might be from the movie. I'm not sure. Is it from the movie? It's from the animation, the anime. I already have a uh, Kotobukiya figurine of this one. Kotobukiya is the brand of figurine. This. Slightly better quality. It's got like a magnetized back so the character like stands up well. Um, I've got Risei, the main character, and I've got Kanji as well because I think he's, he's only 400 yen. He's very cool. I was thinking about buying this yesterday, but I didn't. But when in Rome, I'm going to get it. At the bottom of the pile, I found Namako. If I'm going to get any of them, I'm going to get Namako. It's Namako. <laughs> okay. Great vegetables. A uh, rare badge of the Persona 3 protagonist actually smiling from the Dancing in the Moonlight game. Yeah, it's only $440. What the heck? Yoman Yonsen. What? Okay, boy. Smiling boy. For a badge. Some of these badges are crazy expensive. Look, there's the same design of him smiling. That's only 2200 yen. $22. I don't know what it is. Like a little, you can stick on the back of your phone. It's a ring. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Nanako. Also came back into the game shop because I found the Tokyo Skytree collaboration stuff that was all sold out that I was unable to get. So I got Palmar and uh, this side's all this. Pizza Alvolo. I think this is in Korea, this collaboration. I saw an acrylic stand of that yesterday somewhere. Mm. I also got a um, postcard of Arataki Ito smiling. It's only $3 this one. It's like a merch, like a swag bag at the top, which is 1,600 yen. Uh, haven't seen this design before. Korean 2023 collaboration. Kole and Nilo. Very cool. All right, time to take the Shinkansen back to Osaka, and then I'll show you what's in my bag of uh, Nakano Broadway and Ikebo Girl Part 2. All right, Shinkansen home. I got a Tonkatsu Ekiben and a tea. And um, here's the Shinkansen, Nozomi, the long-nosed Shinkansen. I'm waiting to get my seat. I'm home. I'm home. Oh, you cute, right? You have 
a carry-on bag. Please never leave your hand unattended. Have the real taste of good food. Wait, so it is. Enjoy the real taste of good eating. Goguichi Horai, which is um, butamans, steam buns, uh, pork buns. Here we go. I'm getting that. Uh, four pieces for me and Nanako to have two each. The shumai is really good as well. Um, uh, shrimp shumai, ebi shumai. But we're getting that. Just the buns. Late night snack. The taste of home. Mwah, Osaka, baby. I'm safely back in Osaka and it's time for what's in my bag, Nakano Broadway edition. First of all, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and be really quick. I bought this, uh, it's like it's not a clear file, I think it's like a picture card of um Gundam Seas Freedom. Gundam uh, Seed um, it's the two main characters. Wow, it was quite expensive, but this is a limited edition. Um, I got this for Vinci Boy, my Kiwi member. I'm gonna try and go so quick. I don't wanna take too much time. I bought this uh, Coaster of Igus. It was $10. Man, not gonna Broadway is kind of expensive. Um, I also bought this from the Persona 3 movie coming out. They had a collaboration with uh, Parcella Resort. It's Igus when you first see her on the pier. Um, very, very cool. I'm glad that I was able to get that. I now have the main character and her. Um, bought a couple of cards from New Carnival Sussy Game for Luca and Hans. Uh, here we go. It's uh, Luca's favorite characters, Moray and Esther, Asta, and uh, Bl I think that's Blade. I think I got that one for Hans. There we go. Some cheap cards, probably from a past collaboration of New Carnival. Um, also, an acrylic stand of Gordor. These are all for Luca and Hans. An acrylic stand of Blade. An acrylic stand of uh, Olivine, my best boy, because he, he had a kiwi dessert when I went to the cafe. God, $18, but you don't find the stuff at all in Osaka, so very, very good finds. Um, I think there's one more somewhere. What, where, where one more in my bag? Where is it? Stuff was rolling around. Uh, no, is that it? I think maybe that's it. Um, here we go. I bought a um, little figurine of Sagara Sonosuke from the new Rorani Kenshin animation that came out recently. Normally, these in a gachapon would be $5, but this was $4 just to buy it straight up. Um, a little bit more expensive, $15 to buy Himura Kenshin straight up, but here we go. I can have Sagara Sonosuke and Himura Kenshin sitting side by side. Very, very cute. Um, I also bought this little figurine. It's from the Konami game Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Although as a child, I didn't know how to pronounce Japanese, so I called it Geoman. Geo... Geoman, Geomon, even though it's pronounced Goemon and it's spelled Goemon. It's very, very cute. It's in the style of like Bomberman, not Bomberman, the little baseball game. They had one of um, Solid Snake as well, because that's also a Konami game, but I like this one the best. Very, very niche, this game, to see that. Um, what else did I buy? Oh my God, I also bought a premium acrylic stand of uh, Aiden from the New Carnival Cafe that I went to last year. There we go. It's like basically brand new. It has been unboxed. One time it has been opened up, but it's been like repackaged. Um, that's awesome. That's really, really cool. Um, what else is in my bag? Nothing else in this bag, I don't think. So next up is, uh, what's this? Oh, this is something else that I bought in. Uh, wait, no, huh? I'm confused. This is a K-Books bag. What is inside this bag? Did I buy something at K-Books? Oh, right. I went to the, um, I went back to Ikebukuro and I went to the gaming shop and I bought the laughing card of uh, Arataki Ito and Paimon from the Tokyo Sky Tree collaboration, which I was unable to go to the cafe. So I wanted to get that. Um, and I also bought lots of premium Persona stuff. It's Nanako. <laughs> it's actually Nanako. The, it, her character, she's called Nanako. My, my partner's called Nanako. Well, I got, now I have Nanako from Persona 3. Um, also bought Margaret, uh, wait, Persona 4. Also bought Margaret from Persona 4, which I already have this, so I'm gonna send it to a Kiwi, Kiwi member, maybe Big Fudge, who likes Persona 4. Um, Kanji from Persona 4, yep, I finally bought it. And I got all of the missing postcards from the uh, uh, Tokyo Tower collaboration. I really wanted this one of Igus and the main character. This one too, which is like the poster image. These were $11 each. Um, a little card of Eori. It was only a dollar. Um, they didn't have any of these card packs, so I thought I'd get one of them to send to Vinci Boy. Um, I got this uh, postcard of the girls. I was surprised this one was the cheapest one. More expensive was Ken and Koro Koromaru. I can't remember his name. Koromaru? 
um, 600 yen. And then I have the one with Akihiko, uh, Junpei Iori, and Shinjiro. So I now have the full set, all five of those cards. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's what I bought in Nakano Broadway. Also, an online order when I came back. I got this on the Surugaya online shop. It was only $1. I don't know why it was only $1. Misprinted. Someone labeled it for the wrong price. It's Orpheus from the Persona 3 Thirst movie. Very, very cool artwork. I've got a couple of cards like this of um, the main character, so it's nice to have one of Orpheus as well. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I do lots of anime shopping here in Osaka. I don't usually go to Tokyo and buy so many expensive things like this. So this was a very special video. But if you want to see more videos similar to this, I'm an Osaka anime fiend. Um, I can do lots of videos like this. Um, also anime cafes, vlogs, and, and all sorts of things. Also, I stream Genshin. So please subscribe for more. See you guys. Hi, man.